What's up guys, it's me, Drew. I am here at one of my favorite restaurants, Costa Vida, and I'm here to show you guys some healthy gluten-free options that I eat out at when I am having to eat out, right? So when I'm traveling or if I'm out running errands and I'm busy all day and I don't have time to uh, bring my meals with me, uh, Costa Vida is one of the places that I go to because they have a lot of healthy gluten-free options that I want to uh, show you guys. So for those of you who don't know what I'm doing, uh, my gluten-free fat to fit journey is all about showing both sides of the gluten-free diet, which is super popular. It's become such a fad. And so what I wanted to do is for two months kind of expose the unhealthy side of the gluten-free diet by eating a lot of gluten-free processed foods. And that's how I gained 20 pounds in eight weeks. And I doubled my body fat percentage from 7.4% to 14.8%. Now uh, I begin the journey back down to fit as I show the healthy side of the gluten-free diet by eating healthy gluten-free foods the way it's supposed to be um, over the next two months. So and I just also want to show that that is possible while eating out as well. So I just wanted to show you guys a few of the healthy gluten-free options that Costa Vida has to offer when my family and I are out on the road for dinner or for lunch or whatever. Okay, I'm gonna do a large Baja bowl. Large Baja So can I have it in that? Okay. No tortilla, no rice, no beans. Okay. I'm gonna do uh, chicken. Chicken. And then a double order, or, or steak as well. Steak as well? Yep. Okay. So double meat, right? Right. Okay. And then what goes next? Um, normally on a Baja bowl, we only put uh, ma uh, the, our tomatillo salsa, our uh, roasted green chilies, okay. or our ro roasted red tomatoes. Okay, so skip that. Okay, and no cheese. Okay. Uh, I'm gonna do lettuce. Lettuce. Right, can okay. I do that? Yep. I'll more do uh, a little bit more actually, okay. if that's all right. And then I'm gonna do two scoops of pico. Two scoops of pico. And then can I get a bunch of the red cabbage? Red cabbage. Yeah, yeah definitely, yeah. that's good. More is that good? Uh, maybe a little bit more. Okay. Red cabbage is good. Uh, two scoops of guac. Yeah. And then, uh, I think all I'm missing is salsa fresca. Salsa fresca, you want it on top or on the side? On the side would be good, actually, yeah. Alrighty. I think that's everything. Yeah, that's right. it. You okay, thank you. Yep. Okay guys, so I got my Baja Bowl uh, customized, of course. So what I did was added up all the calories. They have a really cool feature on their website that you can go and customize your meal and look at the nutrition facts. So I got 50 grams of protein, which is awesome. Total calories, you guys, is only 550 calories or so. Uh, 10 grams of net carbs, only five grams of sugar. And obviously with everything I got, there's no added sugar to it. Um, and that's why I got the salsa fresca on the side to use as my dressing. Um, a lot of dressings when you go out to places usually has sugar in it. And that's why I like to use salsa as my dressing for these types of meals. And as you can see, for me, 550, 600 calories is where I usually eat. Uh, that's kind of my range of where I eat anyways for my meals. And so it's cool to have these good fresh options when I'm eating out but still fit into um, you know, uh, a lot of nutrient density from the fresh vegetables and a lot of good high quality meat, uh, protein from the meat. And so kind of, that's what I look for and that's why I love Costa Vida because of these options. Okay guys, so um, just a few tips that I wanna leave with everybody. Obviously it's ideal if everybody could meal prep all the time and you had your food always ready to go, meal, uh, prepared for you. But obviously life gets in the way sometimes. You do have to eat out, I have to eat out, even though you know, I'm a big proponent of, of prepping your food. Um, and I really do think there are healthy options out there. And, and places like Costa Vida is a good example of being able to find good fresh food that not only tastes good, but also fits into your nutritional requirements. And obviously for me, I'm very picky about that because you know, I have uh, you know, my, my whole brand and, and my physique that I want to you know, maintain. In closing guys, don't let excuses get in your way of your goals. 
Um, I know that people use the excuse of having to eat out as an excuse. Uh, it doesn't have to be. You can be smart about your choices of where you go, how you eat your food, how it's prepped. Um, and a lot of places are accommodating to you customizing what you want to get. And it, it's really cool. So be smart about that. Um, don't let your excuses get in the way and um, keep living the healthy lifestyle.